Hey y'all, y'all probably heard about this um, article that came out that said that the Mayan calendar has some dates past the 2012 end date. I mean, it's it's kind of weird that this is coming out now because I've been saying it for a year. I mean, there there was already a monument that said there was a the crowning of King Pakal on Nietzsche's birthday, actually October 15th of the year 4,772. That already implies that there would be someone there to king. It's not the end of the human race, okay? So, I mean, I'm glad it came out. I'm not glad that skeptics say, oh, well, everything about the Mayan calendar is wrong because it still could be some kind of leap, huge jump in the cycle. And, of course, Terence McKenna's discovery completely independent of that. Anyway, I think it's, you know, mostly good news that people are starting to get rid of their anxiety thinking it's the end of the world if the Mayans themselves had a date past that Bakhtun 13 date. Anyway, I just want to clarify a couple things about Hitler. Okay, so he wanted a blue-eyed, blue blonde-haired race, of which he wasn't. He wanted to kill all the Jews, of which he would have to kill his own mother. And I guess he wanted a Christian society if it wasn't Jewish. I mean, it wasn't going to be Muslim. And yet he admired Nietzsche, who hated Christianity, and who had many letters to his sister um, that um, Hitler actually met his uh, Nietzsche's sister. Many letters to her saying his disgust with her marriage to Forster, uh, uh, Bernard Forster, this dumbass anti-Semite. So I'm, I'm sure Nietzsche's sister forgot to mention that to Hitler. Um, but yeah, it's it's just dumb. I, and someone told me that Hitler actually did. Uh, they tried to initiate him into the Freemasons, the occult, by using psychedelics, but it was like two above his head, so he didn't understand it, so he backed out. And then, you know, we all know that he did a lot of cocaine and methamphetamine. So those kind of drugs will keep you in a fucking lock. Whereas psychedelics, their specific job is to unlock the keys. Okay, anyway. Um, I mean, I mean, like J.P. Morgan, it's a fact that J.P. Morgan put Tesla out of business because he knew they would, he had free energy. And J.P. Morgan, of course, owned all the stocks for the copper of which that of which telephone wires needed. So he would have gone out of business because of free energy. It's because of one man's company that our whole world doesn't have free energy. This fucking doesn't make any sense. Watch the Thrive documentary. It explains a lot about it. I mean, that's $300 trillion of oil and energy money down the drain if there is free energy. So, sucks for them. Get a real fucking job, you know? Instead of, you know, just spreading pollution around. Go work in a market. You know, make some bread. I mean, don't worry about your job if it's the whole world's future at stake. And the whole cannabis thing curing cancer, it's a fact. It's been proven over and over again. Cannabis cures cancer. And it's just so sad that it's not only for medicinal nausea, it's way beyond that. Ethnocannabinoids in our body are specifically there for cannabis to be used with. You don't have some kind of alcohol and you know endo sorry endocannabinoids you don't have some kind of endo alcohol that we need to you know to expand our minds the only thing that alcohol needs is our fucking liver to clean that shit up alcohol is a poison and it's legal and cannabis cures more than a, a handful of things and it's obviously illegal because the cancer companies have 200 billion fucking dollars in their so-called treatments creating all these pharmaceutical drugs with fucking nasty ass side effects whereas the only side effect in cannabis is it makes you high and makes you think a little bit. Boo fucking who. Um, what's uh, what's really interesting is that <clears throat> I was reading Jose Arguelles Surfers of the Zuvaya, I think that's how you pronounce it. And he, you know, talks to his kind of he talks to his guide throughout the whole thing. And that guy says that the Bermuda Triangle is a remnant of an Atlantean temple. Just like Dolores Cannon's past life readings have been saying. I think that's really interesting. I was a little skeptical about Dolores Cannon, but she's on point. And of course the Bermuda Triangle is pretty much at 19.5 degrees, just like the Mayan temples, just like the volcanoes on Hawaii and Mars, just like the storms on Neptune and Jupiter. Okay, 19.5 is the holy geometry. And so people have really weird experiences in the Bermuda Triangle because there's a fucking source down there that hasn't been used for, you know, 100,000 years. It's still there and the energy's still up in Adam. Um, but also... Jose Arguello has found out something really interesting because of our stupid Gregorian 28-day calendar thing. 
Uh, here, I'll just quote him. It says that the Gregorian calendar plays out its program of 28 year cycles. For instance, in 2001, the tallest structures in the world, the Twin Towers, were destroyed in a staged terrorist attack. Of course, he believes it's stage two. And 28 years before that, in 73, the Twin Towers were dedicated. 28 years before that, in 45, the twin atomic bombs dropped by American planes destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay? Ending the Second World War. And 28 years before that, in 1917, we entered the First World War. Americans did. And 28 years before that, it was 1889. The Eiffel Tower was dedicated. Um, the tallest structure in the world at the time. So we see a tale of towers and war played out as a theme and variations within the 28-year agenda. So it's like synchronicity is like saying, hey, this is wrong, so we're going to have a different kind of synchronicity to show you with all these kind of negative events. Um, but yeah. One last thing about good old Obama. I mean, in, in 2004, he said marriage should be, is only should be sanctioned between a man and a woman. Given that was eight years ago, and now he switches his stance, you know, right before elections, I think it's just a little, you know, what's the obvious word? Convenient. Okay, so now he's all pro-gay marriage, all of a sudden, when all this Obama deception and banker bailout shit comes out in the open. And now all the people who are any kind of liberal or any kind of, you know, you know, right-loving people will obviously be on board with his gay marriage shit. That does not mean any, anything's better in the country just because he believes gay marriage is legal, even though he denied it in 2004. He changes a couple months right before fucking the end of the Mayan calendar. So just, you know, don't just, don't just see what's on the news. See what's in their history. Okay, peace out.